Lower back pain can arise from a number of different reasons and affect a range of different structures in our spine. The lower or the lumbar part of our spine is made up of five individual vertebrae, which are the most robust of all the spinal vertebra. They are supported by an incredible network of muscles and ligaments that help us to move in many different ways. Positioned between each of our bony vertebra is a spongy disc consisting of a mixture of gel-like substance, collagen fibers and cartilage, which act together as a shock absorber for the spine and also assist with multi-directional movements. The vertebra of the spine protect our spinal cord, which runs all the way from our brain down towards our tailbone. Nerve branches out, nerves branch out from the spinal cord here and they are carriers of the messages that come from our brain. The most common sources of lower back pain are usually relating to overloading, whether that be acute pain, like lifting something too heavy without warming up, or it can develop slowly over time from repetitive movements or a sedentary lifestyle or occupation. So this can cause strain on the muscles or cause a sprain on the ligaments. Other causes of lower back pain can relate to irritation to the discs or the nerves. And this can cause pain that goes down into our legs as well as numbness and tingling. But the good news is that in most cases of lower back pain are manageable through exercises and a progressive movement strategies. Things such as sprains, strains, herniations, fractures and nerve irritations will heal over time and treatment will often look the same for each of these things. Conditions such as disc degeneration and osteoarthritis can also be managed conservatively as well.